The Smiler is one of the most well-known roller coasters in the UK. With 14 inversions, it takes the record for the most on any roller coaster in the world. Which, how have we got that in the UK? It also has probably one of the best themes of any roller coaster in the, in the world. The twisted storyline making it feel like you're being forced into a machine that will make you a smiling shell of the person you used to be. We love a good horror theme here in the UK, don't we? And this takes it to the next level. Or does it? I've already said the Smiler is one of the most coolest and spookiest themes of any ride in the world. And there are a few decent bits of theming around too such as the massive marmalizer structure which you go under and round loads and while well, it sprays mist at you and makes odd noises to say the least. There's also a few illusiony stuff around the area and in the correction block which is an indoor section of the queue line containing really cool projections and lights. When they work at least. But all this is brought to life by the theme tune. The music in the area of the Smiler is so loud and so annoying, but so good. The Smiler. The Smiler. Alton Tower. The Smiler. It really makes you feel like you're in this wild, fever dream, tortured device thing that's crazy. A bit like the Harry Hill mood. Yeah. Another small detail which I quite like is the dispatch audio and halfway corrected audio is done by the man who did the London Underground announcements. You know, the mind the gap. Halfway corrected. This is all about talking about the layout itself, which is really good. You would you'd think a ride of 14 inversions that squeezed into a space where a tent used to be would be really boring and repetitive, but it isn't. Almost every inversion is different and there's two airtime hills squeezed in. A section of which is really good. The Smiler is often hated by the, smi uh, the Smiler community, the enthusiast community, especially in the last few years. I don't completely agree with everyone and everything they have to say, like people saying that Reef is better, or that Heroes no! Um, because, well, some people are just ridiculous. But, yeah, like anything, it does have its flaws, especially in the last couple years. Sticking with the layout, the last three inversions rattle me more than rattle snake, and I have to push my head into the seat more than I would push a pool door. I also think the two dive loops are quite rough, something I noticed this year, but the story didn't send a bird. The theming is quite poor. The dirty concrete buildings are lazy, but I'll get more into detail on them in a minute. The only theming other than the marmalizer and audio is some yellow lines which look dirty and miserable. Oh well. I guess we can't have everything. Why can't Merlin make a good coaster with good theming? Oh wait. Oh wait. Oh wait! You lot all know what I'm gonna say. The track. The support. The concrete. The pit. It's so dirty! The original theme was meant to look like a dirty insane asylum thing, but they went with this cheap concrete asylum thing. No, not asylum now. Uh, keep, well, a cheap concrete pit. And the station as well is just covered in mould and just dirt. The track is so dirty and that makes me wonder whether it was made out of steel or moss. The track was originally a glossy and sleek black, but now it's the colour of Shrek. Yeah, we had to mention him somewhere. Another thing I don't like is the weird vending machine thing halfway through the queue, which used to have illusiony stuff, but now it's all peeled off and it's more of just a tin shed with some yellow bits. And it's not even the theming, the yellow is from all the sick after silly hooligans decided to drink half a gallon of iron brew before getting corrected. I've just had a full on rant about a vending machine and iron brew. But yeah, basically this dirt everywhere is a big issue because it makes the smile less like a roller coaster and more like the bathroom next to it. Anywho, that's it. That's the good bit. That's the bad bits. And that's the ugly bits. But even with these in consideration, the Smiler is a great roller coaster which will fit perfectly into Towers' lineup. It just needs some TLC. That's Towers Loving Care. But on that bombshell, it's time to end. Good night! <laughs> <laughs>